This is me about to get hacked. Free Bitcoin, gift cards, endless riches reside on this laptop. And I invited millions of people to try and hack it. <laughs> and not just because I love pain. Once upon a time, my identity was stolen. Someone said I worked at Arby's and that I wanted to open an investment account in Virginia. I don't think that would work if it were true. But the real problem was that I found this information out the day after I visited the dark web for a YouTube video. Naturally, the next step was to pay a Pakistani hacker to see if someone could have got that information with my IP address. And then the real problem, everyone in the comments section was a professional hacker that said it was impossible. You can't be hacked using only your IP address. That guy's a squid king. I have chronic diarrhea. Now, normally I would ignore comments like this because I don't want to know about your weird bodily issues that you thought nobody would display on the internet to thousands of people. But a lot of people seem to agree. Now, I know you're not here for the latest in cybersecurity information. You're here, you know, to like, if I fart in a jar, how long does the smell last? <laughs> at least three minutes. Regardless, that's not a free pass for misinformation. So to figure out if it's possible, I gave all these nerds a chance to win the endless riches on the laptop. But what info did I give them to hack it? Just the IP address. Sponsored by Odoo, more on that later. So I used to live in these apartments where my car get broken into all the time. And by broken into, I mean, I'd forget to lock it. <laughs> All my stuff strung out everywhere and like there'd be like $3 gone from the center console. $3? It was like every couple weeks. And as time went on, the guy started to get more organized. Like instead of my stuff being strung out everywhere, he would like neatly stack the stuff from the, from the glove compartment in the passenger seat. And like the stuff from the center console, he would just sift through it gently, take the $3 and then be on his way. And like only steal two pieces of the gum from the pack so that way, you know, it's like we're sharing. And I didn't even realize it until I just like just started recording this, but I'm sure at some point he was <laughs> breaking in, stealing all my stuff, but just leaving everything in its position. For all I know, the dude was driving to Wendy's at 2 a.m. I was basically sharing my car with a thief. I mean, the, the dude was in there. Sometimes I'd get in there, it would smell funny, but the car was locked. So it's like he locked the car on the way out when he was done. If anyone's ever stolen something from you, then you come to that, you come back to that spot and you're like, it feels weird. It's like someone was here, man. Someone was in this spot that I own, took my things and left. It's a, it's a weird feeling. And as soon as I hit go live on this thing, dude, I had like the same feeling times a thousand. It was like, now I know thousands of people are trying to get my stuff off this laptop. But what are they actually trying to get? You see, I put the prizes on my custom website that I quickly built for free using odoo.com. Dude, I actually got the domain name, jeff.odoo.com. My name's Jeff. This is no special account. I'm just clicking like, create a website for free. But I didn't give anybody the URL. And what am I gonna add? Free Bitcoin. Free Bitcoin, but it's a dollar. <laughs> Replace the media, upload an image, nice and easy. We add our little JPEG that we got, Bitcoin. My bad. And it's fun making a website. Now, I'm obviously not running a free Bitcoin business here. All right, Bob Ross toaster PC is $4. <laughs> that would not be very lucrative. But if you wanna grow a business or start a business, you're gonna need a website. And Odoo makes that fast and free. Your first application is free for life. You get a custom domain for one year. And by setting up a free website with my link below, you're directly supporting this channel so I can keep keep letting people hack me. Oh, and they paid for a thousand dollar Burger King gift card. <laughs> okay. The next step was burying the URL deep within the computer. Welcome to the game. I'm about to mess with these guys so bad for hacking me, dude. First, I made a file that tells a successful hacker to go to the desktop and find a file named dog, and then it has vital information. But then it's just a dog pooping. <laughs> Happy New Year, it's not even the New Year. Then to continue further, the hackers must search the system for a file named Pace Hot Sauce. Excellent, very cool, yes. As a hint, I put it inside of a folder titled Yummy. Inside the folder is a note that says open a PDF without scanning it, which is really sketchy. But you can't open it because it's encrypted with a password. That was actually in the poop dog picture. This is Happy New Year, that's the password. And then finally, when they enter the password, it gives them the URL to where they can claim their prize. Which was so easy to build, drag and drop, baby. With all that done, it was time to give out the IP address to see if anyone could even get to the maze. 
This was basically like leaving my car unlocked, but instead of like just accidentally leaving it unlocked, it's like I posted it on every street corner. Hey, come sleep in my car and fart in the center console. You know what I mean? And thanks to all the info from these comments, I know that my location is totally safe when I share my IP address. If someone's hacking you and the device has GPS, unibrow. I'm not doing this in my house. Johnny hacks a lot coming to like pee on my driveway. Not having it, dude. So like a good business owner who just started a website for free on odoo.com, a free and easy to use website builder where your first application is free for life, I leased a storefront. <laughs> I have a storefront now. I leased it. <laughs> Proof dog! I set up the laptop with the internet connection and a welcome note to all the hackers. Hello, hackers. Some motion sensing cameras uh, sent out the IP address to everyone. That's a big boy right there. And then all I had to do was wait. Up until this point, everything I've told you is completely true. Like if you saw me at Wendy's and said, hey bro, was that video real? I would say yes, entirely. Just creator to viewer, this is what happened. But there were a few things that I left out. You see, I set up a file monitoring software that will send a notification to my phone if any of the files in the system are accessed. And a few thousand of those files are actually uh, computer viruses. <laughs> and then when someone finally visits the website that I built in a few clicks with a website configurator, I get an alarm that goes off on my phone. It's now day three and nobody has hacked me yet. Um, actually, I guess I can't be sure that nobody has hacked me yet. But it gets worse. Remember the Pakistani hacker from the last video that everyone roasted and said was a script kitty? I spent about one week with him setting up this laptop, and according to him, this setup is easily hackable to a beginner and should take less than 30 minutes. So what's going on? Is my hacker man actually a script kitty and he did nothing at all and took a bunch of my money? Or is everyone in the comment section lying and they're not actually super professional hacker men? And to make it worse, this guy on Fiverr said, you're good, bro, this thing's not hackable. But this other guy on Fiverr said he was totally vulnerable and susceptible to attack. I've never seen more contradicting information. So what is going on? And then suddenly, I no longer had access to my security cameras. So what does it actually look like to be hacked? A little part of me thought I was going to show up and everything was just gone. Like someone broke in and took everything. But when I got there, what I found was actually a lot funnier. <laughs> it's plugged in and everything's charging, but it looks like someone powered it down maybe? Somehow? What? Whoever it was gained admin access, went into the laptop, disconnected the cameras from the network. By the way. See, I thought maybe like just the power went out and that it died. Or I thought maybe like I didn't pay the bill or something. But the last thing the logs show that they did is they activated a virus called you are an idiot.exe. <laughs> okay, no way. Okay. At 3 a.m., someone accessed you are an idiot.exe. You are an idiot. <laughs> and I guess that's it. I got hacked. I got hacked, brothers. <laughs> I got hacked. The thing is, though, I didn't trust it. See, the file monitor program thing, it's a little wonky and sometimes it'd go off for no reason. And I mean, really Windows update could have caused this somehow. Like, I just don't know. I don't know if that was a hacker or not. And if it really was a person, why didn't they go for the prize? That was on my epic website that I made for free on odoo.com. And like, this was weeks into the competition. Why was there only one guy that got in? So I had to take it just a little bit further. I made the maze way easier. I made just hacking into it way easier. I posted the IP address more places and then I waited. And I don't know, I mean, did people think I was setting them up? Was I actually wrong and this thing isn't hackable? Or maybe, just maybe, were all the people in the comment section lying? <laughs> so I finally started to get fed up and I was like, I need to try and hack this myself. And so I don't know what to do now. It's not like I can just sit here and show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to hack. It's not like I can just do that. Step one, download the free and publicly available program called Nmap. It's got this black box that you can type into to run the program, but unless you have a third pinky toe, you're not gonna know how to use it. So it's nice that along with the installation comes the user interface called ZenMap. So click that yeah. instead. Then right here inside this box where it says target, type in the IP address that you're trying to hack, <clears throat> uh, penetrate. 
pen doing a penetration test on and click scan. What it's gonna do is gonna scan the network on that IP address for any open ports. Different open ports have different exploits and vulnerabilities that you can try and access. And how do you know any of those? Because you can download a free and publicly available program called Metasploit and it will tell you. In our case, I see port 22 is open, which means we can try to brute force it. Does it sound like I know what I'm talking about? Because I learned this last week. In order to try and brute force it, you download the free and publicly available program called Hydra. In order to use this one, you have to grow a third pinky toe and type in this command. Basically what it's doing is trying all the usernames and passwords that I got from this free and publicly available website. Oh, Seclus is a free repository? Which has a list of all the most used username and passwords. Some of y'all have some whack passwords. Top passwords, literally the word Pokemon was a top password in 2020. So while that's happening, let me tell you about Odoo one more time. I know I've had a lot of fun with it making my silly website, but then you have to eat at Burger King. <laughs> but Odoo is more than just an easy to use website and online store builder. Attacking, I'm attacking myself. It's a full suite of integrated apps to run a business, like accounting, warehouse management, scheduling, all kinds of tools that work with each other seamlessly. Attacking SSH? Oh no! And I know a lot of y'all are in your 20s or starting stuff right now, and you maybe need a website to start that something. So please consider going to odoo.com forward slash basically homeless, because that's pretty much what paid for the prizes. Yes, the prizes. Who gets the prizes? did it. Oh, I found two of them. The password was password. <laughs> and one of the usernames was user. <laughs> it only take 10 minutes. <laughs> There was this guy on TikTok who hosted this very complex competition and it was solved in 19 minutes. But I always say a YouTuber's audience is full of people that are sort of like them. So I feel like I can't tell you to step it up. The car was running, door wide open, keys in the ignition, and it said free car. I can't believe it, guys. I can't. I, I, I. You see, at this point, you're just a few commands away from having full admin access of the computer, which so many sources said was just straight impossible. And? We're in. Now, I promise your PC is a lot safer than this one that has 10,000 viruses and was manually configured to be hackable. But I just taught you how to hack. And so the prizes could be yours. I'm gonna leave it here or maybe somewhere else. And the prize will go to whoever gets it. If I had locked my car doors, the $3 might not have gotten stolen. If I had three inch bulletproof windows, it might not ever get broken into. And if I didn't fart in the jar, it might not have smelled bad. Maybe. But the reality is that your PC might be getting hacked, and you don't even know it. It's just a truth of the world that we live in, and every day, hackers get a little more tidy, leaving the car neatly the way it was found without ever even leaving a smell. I wanted to make this video to learn and to share what I learned with you. And really, I wanted to make sure you can trust me, and that I'm not just lying to you in these videos. So I'll never know how my identity was stolen. But now I know this truth, which has been bugging me for seven months holy crap boys my bad <laughs> so man i gotta do like no more part two playing on the dark web gonna get my info stolen gave it to a hacker my name jeff, my name jeff. free bitcoin for a dollar and we try to keep it fresh i say give me tylenol cvs it's like it's tylenol you're in the wrong place, man. Come in for your face, man. Got your social and you're out of pace. Hey, hey, no. I'm connected to your camera. You're hanging with your fam, bro. I never leave my house. Don't try to use your mouth. Somebody gave my social security out on the dark web. I just wanted the dankest memes. Indeed, my name is Jeff. Good lobby Card. I gotta call my banks I put this on the YouTube All my homies still miss Frank Somebody did identity theft And boy I think that's bad But also makes me hungry So I'ma go get a snack Man it really sucks That your credit score so low I couldn't even buy a Camry And there's cash that you still owe You know that makes me hungry too I think I'll get a snack It's your car so drinks on you I think I'll pause my hat Yeah So you said Amogus? No, no, not Amogus. Oh, you said Amoglus. No, dude, come on, it's amongst whom? 
throughout this whole thing, there were a few times where I was a little bit nervous. I was a little bit like actually genuinely afraid. But one thing that I know for sure is that my hope doesn't come from this world. Um, and I'd like to invite you into understanding what that means. See, I know that whether I get hacked or my identity gets stolen or my car gets broken into or my whole YouTube channel gets deleted or I die, that I know my faith and hope is not in this world and my circumstances, but is outside of this world. And you can have hope outside of this world too and the creator of all things. And it's a, it's a very real thing. And so I wanna invite you into that. I'm linking a video in the description that talks about my faith, talks about Jesus and my belief in Jesus. And you can also ask me questions about this in my Discord, which is also linked in the description. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.